So here we are at Penny Lane, and you know we're seeing all the parts of Liverpool. Hey guys, you all right? Hey, how are you? Hello. Not too bad. I was just wondering, would you like me to take a photo? Uh, no, it's all right. No, I'm, I'm we taking these guys around. No we have a guy, but thank you, sir. Oh, no You're welcome. Welcome. Community police on the bike. Excellent. Always, <laughs> always out and about. All right, thank you. Cheers. Thank yeah. you. So oh, that's, so nice. that's nice. So David, your book is unique because it's really about the. Well, it's, it's it's the book that I wanted to read and find out more about the Beatles and Liverpool, and I found out that nobody had done a Beatles book just about Liverpool. So often what you'd find is, you read a Beatles book, they'll tell you the first, same few stories at the beginning, and then move on to whatever the theme of the book was. Whereas I just wanted to know the Liverpool stuff, so that's what I set out to do, was find out as much as I could about the Beatles and Liverpool. This is St. Peter's Church, so this is where, when John was about five or six years old, Mimi sent him to Sunday school with other friends like Pete Shotton, Nigel Wally, Rod Davis, Eric Griffiths, all the guys who formed, really, the Quarrymen, had been friends from Sunday school at St. Peter's Church from a very young age. And this is where on the 6th of July, 1957. This is where Paul McCartney was introduced to John Lennon. So this is where the quarry men were playing. And if you think about it, 1957, at a church event, the Letton Rock and Roll music be performed. That was quite radical for its time. You know, if you think about the Motown groups, they all sang and they all came from churches. Yep. Well, <laughs> church choirs. John was in the church choir here with Pete Shotton. Paul sang in the church choir at St Barnabas. Ringo sang in the church choir at St Silas. Stuart Sutcliffe was the head chorister in the church choir at St Gabriel's up in Highton. So a lot of them were singing in church choirs. And the cynical reason was if you were in the church choir, you got paid. Mm. So you had to turn up to, say, a rehearsal during the week, sing at the services on Sunday. But you got pocket money for it. And it's much better to go, if you could sing, than get up early and deliver newspapers. So this is sort of the plaque that... This is the plaque, yeah. This was uh, erected on the 40th anniversary of the first meeting. So in 1997, they got the quarrymen back together here. And they performed, and they erected this, uh, this plaque. And of course, the stone is cut from Wilton Quarry. Yeah. And that's the silhouette.